Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a 16 by 20 inch canvas open tree ring pour. So just kind of a generic acrylic pour uh, and basically a multitude of colors that I would call my peacock colors. And it's different brands of paint. Some I've even custom mixed the colors. Some were not iridescent and I added a little iridescence to it. One to one with Floetrol latex based. And if it's thicker, I add some water. Otherwise, I don't. And then I added this much and well loved, much used spot on treadmill silicone, several drops to each little cup for some cells. So I'm going to just kind of layer the colors in the cup and I'm going to probably try to get at least two layers of each color and then this is a 12 ounce cup I'm going to fill it to the brim and I may even add a little more who knows so let's get busy and have some fun Okay, so that's what we call a full cup. <laughs> so I'm going to take it and just do kind of a tree ring open. Just I'm just going to pour. I love it. I love it. You can never, never, never go wrong with peacock colors. And you know, if you pour it and you start to see a big blob of one color, pour on top of it and pour some more. Don't just give up and say, oh, it's a failed pour. Just keep on playing with it. I mean, this to me is beautiful. And the reason I'm pouring this is to do a peacock. I did a, I had one quite a while back called Peacock Moon and it had a peacock's body and a gold leaf moon in the background and it had some gold feathers coming down. That's what I'm planning on doing with this as well. It's a commission and uh, yeah, if they don't love it then I will sell it but you will see finished results. Just for this video, it's just going to be the dried picture of this piece at the end. But um, 
you will see me embellish it in a future video like pretty shortly after making this so I am really really super pleased and looking into the camera the colors are just not as vibrant as they are in real life So, you know, part of this will be covered with the peacock's body. But I tell you what, I love it. The colors are just so delicious. <laughs> ah. And of course, what I really love is the, um, this is that color shift that is a uh, violet with a blue cast to it. Ugh. Love it, love it, love it. So, I'm happy. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this little quick video. Just a regular acrylic pour with any brand of paint mixed one to one with Floetrol. If you use two paint, add water to get it to the right consistency. If you use craft bottle paint, you typically don't add water. And then add a drop of silicone per ounce of paint. So if you've got four ounces of paint mixture mixed up, add four drops of silicone and you'll, you'll get plenty of cells. So I am just super duper pleased. Got a few little lumps. Some of this paint has sat in bottles for a year and I can still use it. That's what I love about those squeeze bottles that I use. These that are, um, that have on the screw on lids with the small nozzle. They are airtight and they keep the paint really, really well. They're in my Amazon link below the video. So please give me a thumbs up. Please comment. YouTube always likes to have a little interaction on your end, commenting on how you like my work. And I will see you on the next video. Make sure to check out all the links below the video. It'll provide products that I use. It's also got the Amazon journals that I have started making. A link there. Go check it out. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. few little drops and you just kind of blend it in. Love, love, love. This is when you're glad that you have a piece that's primed and ready to go. And you can pour something with your favorite colors. So I'll be letting these dry and I'll post dry pictures at the end so stay tuned